Hi, welcome to Math 256. I'm Marsha Corby and I'm gonna be your instructor this semester. Woohoo! I'm super excited to meet you. Before we get started though, I wanna go ahead and do a video on our syllabus for this course. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking day one about the syllabus just because this is a hybrid course and I want you to watch this ahead of time, do the quiz and then show up for class and let me know if you have any questions. So let's just go over a few brief things. Let's first talk about expectations. What can you expect from me? What do I expect from you? So you can expect me to start class on time and end on time every single day. So what does that mean for you? That means that if you're not on time, because I'm starting on time, you're gonna be missing things. Very, very important. If you can even try and be there three minutes early, how nice would that be, right? Um, that would be awesome. That way we can get started right on time and get um, our activities done. There's even gonna be times where you're gonna to have to do a quiz the first 20 minutes, and I'm not gonna have any extra time to give you if you are late. So obviously life happens, things come up, reach out and talk with me, no problem. But as a daily rule, I need you to be there even early, okay? Be on time, please. The other thing is attendance for this class because it's a hybrid course and we're only meeting for eight weeks, I really need you to be there every time. Now, I understand things happen. Again, someone passes away, kids are sick, you're sick, I get that. Please just communicate with me and let me know what's going on. If I don't hear from you and you don't show up to classes for the semester, I will potentially drop you. So I need you to be letting me know what's going on in your life. The next expectation you can have of me is that I'm gonna return your calls, texts, or emails within 24 hours. We're gonna have Remind for this course, so you're gonna have the opportunity to, to be able to text me and to receive text notifications uh, to your phone as well, so that's really convenient. Text message through Remind or email are my two favorite forms of communication. Canvas also works, more messages also work. These are really quick ways to get a response from me, hopefully within 24 hours. If for some reason you don't hear from me within those 24 hours, please feel free to send another message and just say, hey, did you get that message? I didn't get a response back. This is is really my goal is 24 hours. The idea here is communicate. I'm on your team, okay? So I'm here to help you be successful and I wanna make sure that I'm there for you. Let me know how we can uh, work together to get you through this course. Another expectation you can have of me is to create a healthy learning environment so that you can learn the mathematics. I need you to trust me that sometimes I'm going to push you into a zone where maybe you're not super, super comfortable. That's okay. Um, part of being a teacher is being able to work in zones where you're not comfortable. So I want you to start getting used to this now. I'm gonna ask you to work with lots of different groups of people. Welcome to teaching where you get thrown on random committees, random teams, and you're like, I don't even know these people. I don't even like them. That's not my grade level team. That's just a part of teaching in the name of the game. So I need you to have a super positive attitude when you work with others. I'm also counting on you that we're gonna build community in our classroom, which is super positive, and we're gonna talk about talk more about why that's so important. But we're going to work to build this community, and I need you to be a good team player in that if there's somebody struggling at your table, that you practice your teaching skills. Woohoo! This is amazing. So I, there's only one of me and there's a lot of you. So I need you to practice being an awesome teacher and sometimes helping out your group members as well. Okay, now let's talk about my expectations for you as a student. First one, in case I haven't said it enough, I expect you to attend class regularly and be on time. This is a big one. Like I said before, we only meet for eight weeks. It is crucial even that you're not five minutes late. You might miss that first review assignment and that might be very impactful to your understanding for that unit. So please make sure you attend class and you're on time. Second, I expect that you're going to be prepared for our class sessions. That means that you might have watched a video beforehand, you might do something ahead of time, worked on your interactive notebook, something like that, but I expect that you've done what you needed to do so that you can be present and participate in class that day. 
last big expectation I have of you is that you're gonna communicate with me if there's something that's going wrong. Maybe that's you have a question, I expect you to ask it. Maybe it's you're having a life crisis. I need you to communicate with me so that I know how I can best help you. There's a few more things on the syllabus that you'll notice under expectations, but these really sum it up. Let's go ahead and talk about the required materials for this class. So just so you know, you need to gain access to more. That's our free online program where all the course materials and assignments are going to be hosted. Um, and you can see the last page of the syllabus for specific registration directions. You're also going to be required to do screenshots and put these into documents to submit them and access the virtual manipulative site. You will also need a 100 page composition notebook. You should hopefully have that by day one of class. They're 50 cents to a dollar at Staples or Walmart, nothing fancy. And then I also highly recommend the Math Power Book. You can get this for $4.99 on Kindle through Amazon or, or iTunes, or you can order a paper copy of this. It's only $15, but the catch is you have to order it from Carnegie Learning, um, and I will give you more details on that as well. The printed textbook is optional for this course and it can be used as a resource. It's really expensive though. I don't recommend purchasing it unless you're hoping for something that you could use for resources for your future classroom. You may also find that a graphing calculator is helpful for this course. And then I highly recommend they're optional, but it's really nice to have your own glue stick, scissors, colored pencils, or markers, or highlighters, erasable pens. You need something to color with, and that's just for our interactive notebook. I will be providing some of these things in class. However, a lot of your interactive notebook activities are gonna be done outside of class, so you're gonna wanna make sure that you have those available to you at your home. You will notice that the uh, class structure and grading for this course is listed. Homework and discussion posts, 15%. Your group projects, your home assignments, that's gonna be your screenshot assignments. And your interactive notebook checks are 25%. Quizzes and tests are 20%. And the midterm and final will be a combined 40%. Okay, let's talk about the midterm and final exam. Both of these are gonna be done in class and they will both take the entire class periods. The midterm is gonna be taken on Wednesday, September 18th. The final exam will be taken on Wednesday, October 9th from 10 to 11.40 a.m. Please make sure that you are scheduled to be at both of those class meetings as they are proctored and you must take them in person. Best way to study for these is a couple of things. Okay, let's take a moment and talk about how to study for your exams. This is a huge one. So the best way to study for your exams is gonna to be to first start by doing the review. I'm always going to give you a review for your test. Make sure you do it, make sure you know how to do it, make sure you can explain it to a classmate. I highly recommend teaching someone else. That's one of the best ways to make sure that you actually understand the information and that you're processing it. When you teach someone else, you're processing it at a totally different level. Work with a group, teach somebody else. Second, go see our student success specialist. We have a student success specialist for this class who is awesome. Go see them, work through the problems. They've been to the course, they already understand these questions and they've got a better idea on strategies for how you can work through it. So go see them, look for their office hours. This is awesome, they're great, they're super friendly, they're here to help you. The last thing you need to know about taking your exam is that there are no makeups for the midterm and final exam. It is crucial that you are here, so please plan accordingly and make sure that your calendar is clear for those days. Okay, I think that wraps up the important highlights off of our syllabus. Please take a minute and read the rest. It's very crucial that you know everything in that syllabus. Think of it like a binding contract important. Please take a moment and finish reading the syllabus. Uh, if you have any questions, you can reach out by email, marcia.corby at phoenixcollege.edu, or come see me in my office. I'm in A237 now, and I would love for you to drop by and say hello. We're going to have a great semester, and I can't wait to see you. Have a good one.